Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part three for this news report for today. It's Friday, May 17th, 2013. My website is ggnonline.com if you'd like to check out the archive of videos or donate and help me out with a donation. I truly appreciate those that have donated recently. We left off with this article, MSPs call child protection plans into question. The prospect of every child in Scotland being given their own state appointed overseer to guard against the threat of abuse has been called into question. The measure will be a UK first and is at the heart of legislation going through the Scottish Parliament. So, not worry, worrying about the state encroaching on the family. They voice concerns over the workload facing social workers who already face uh, a, a big workload. The Children and Young People Bill contains a legal requirement to provide children with a named person from birth, such as a health worker, to safeguard and support their well being. We yeah, have this article from 16 hours ago, Doctor Who Promised Cancer Cure Faces Sentencing. So, talking about at the age of three, this uh, individual was diagnosed with brain cancer. Her parents, desperate to find alternative measures for their daughter, who had undergone surgeries and chemotherapy, turned to Dr. Christine Daniel, who offered an herbal supplement with a success rate she claimed was between 60 and 80 percent. They spent thousands of dollars on the herbal product and her daughter spent much of her time the last few months before she died in the summer 2002 being shuttled from her Venture County home to Daniel's clinic. So the father is scheduled to be sentenced Friday in LA uh, where federal prosecutors are asking that she be sentenced to, I'm sorry, that's a he, uh, 27 years in prison for crimes they deem cruel, despicable, and heinous. So says that they were convicted, or he, she was convicted of 11 counts, including wire fraud, tax evasion, and witness tampering. Federal prosecutors argue that Daniel preyed upon people in their most vulnerable state and gave them false hope. One case, prosecutors contend a 22-year-old woman who had a highly curable form of neck lymphoma died because she relied on Daniel's recommendation to avoid radiation or chemotherapy treatments. Well, it's her body, dude. I, I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's... Um, it says for other patients, they endured additional pain and suffering because they took the herbal tonic provided by Daniel. As a, at trial, experts called by the federal prosecutors said chemical tests of the product showed it contained beef extract flavoring and sunscreen preserved, among other ingredients. So never mind chicken McNuggets that use pink slime, uh, Taco Bell, uh, you know, fake beef, or um, the, the you know what's in those chicken uh, chicken nuggets? Uh, all kinds of nasty foaming agent type stuff. I mean, the amount of, this is the poisoning of the water, the allowing of the, uh, of the aerosols, uh, uh, masking the name uh, high fructose corn syrup as corn sugar or natural flavors to, uh, you know, uh, to trick people. GMO, don't label GMOs, but, you know, you're going to peddle your, your chemo and cancer treatment radiation crap, right? So it just, that just infuriates me. Toddler with cancer takes cannabis oil. So this is from March of 2012, almost April. Marijuana was the best medicine for a three-year-old. Says at least that's what the parents believe. So as if it's not true. They say they defy doctor's orders and Montana law to get their hands on the med medicinal treatment their son needed after he was diagnosed with reoccurring brain tumors at 22 months old. I had law enforcement threaten to kick my door down, but I would have done anything to keep Cashy alive. Uh, said uh, he has been a long proponent of the drug. So... Mike has not been arrested, although he said police have threatened to. Cheech and Chong star claims cannabis helped cure prostate cancer. Again, I could have sworn I heard this news or this article come through the cycle before, but maybe it's back in there. Um, comedian and stoner Tommy Chong says, I kicked cancer's ass with a variety of treatments, including diet and supplements. So, better be careful, right? After a Canadian doctor helped him change his diet to include a variety of special supplements, including hemp oil. So... I mentioned uh, uh, Laetril or B17 yesterday. Um, you can check out this. I'll post the link. G. Edward, G. Edward Griffin's A World Without Cancer, the story of B17. So that, and that's older, too. Judge rules family can't refuse chemo for boy. Now, these are older articles, of course, back from 2009. But this is just going to show you how, um, how much gall these bastards actually have, the medical establishment and the government, to, uh, to tell families what they can and cannot do with their own children. Judge Rule's family can't refuse chemotherapy for a boy that the parents of the 13-year-old sought to, uh, to treat his cancer with alternative medicine. So, says if I, I'd fight it uh, if I had to take it again. So, according to the transcript, this is what the kid said. I'd punch them and then I'd kick them. So, 
The boy's parents opted for alternative medicine, citing the religious beliefs, even though doctors said he would almost certainly die without chemotherapy. So this is about scaring everybody in fear, right? So God forbid that you're not afraid to die, right? And just let uh, nature take its course. But these are the same assholes that want to engineer babies, ethically ethical babies, and patent genes, and and modify the weather, and you know. So they don't like things that are natural. Attempted murder. A mother who denied autistic son cancer meds found guilty. This is from April 2011. Massachusetts woman who withhold at-home chemotherapy uh, medications from autistic cancer-stricken son was convicted of attempted murder Tuesday. Uh, basically, the jurors who dismissed her claim that she thought the side effects of the treatment could kill him. I think this is the one where the son was just basically saying, no more, I can't take it anymore. So I can't really find out because now the page is not uh, cannot be found. So... Oregon faith healer parents get pro uh, was it probation and son's death. So this is from September of last year. Faith healer parents of an Oregon teenager who died due to lack of medical care. See, I like how they call that care, right? It costs lots of money um, uh, for that care, uh, where you're exposed to all kinds of poisons and toxins and radiation. Will be required to contact a doctor when any of their other six children are sick for more than one day. How do you like that? says, uh, Mom, they did bad things to me. Insider at uh, Oklahoma Airport shares shocking info on alleged TSA abuses. So, and they go through and list how they are groping old people, young people, uh, uh, disabled people. Uh, up to one in five U.S. teens suffer from mental health disorders as a report. They include anxiety, depression, and cigarette dependence. A total of 13% to 20% of children living in the United States experience a mental disorder in a given year. So, yeah, to be honest with you, high school was, uh, to me, I hated high school. It was horrible. Um, and I just commend anyone that can grow up in this world, in this reality, and, and keep their shit together, pardon my French, um, you know, and not have some sort of depression or anxiety or anything like that. You know, any conscious or moral person I'm referring to. They said it's an important health issue because of their prevalence, early onset, and impact on the child, family, and community. Well, actually, a lot of times it's the impact of the government on the community and thus the family that affects uh, people like that. That's what people don't get, that, it, that it's coming from somewhere. It's not coming from inside the child just because they just said, hey, you know what, I think I'm going to cut myself or blow my head off. Uh, no, it's probably has something to do with their family, which is a result of the community and society, which then is a reflection of the government. So then we have this, Jolie's best message applies to all women. They have choices and need not live in fear. So Ann Taylor Fleming, I never heard of her before. She writes at Reuters, says stories about the vic Now this is the thing, I gotta put this out there real quick. The two main things that I was just, that I was uh, uh, proposing as far as so Angela, Angela Jolie thing, uh, cutting her boobs off in fear of her uh, getting cancer because she had the gene is, uh, well, actually three things. One was that, of course, it's about uh, taking away uh, feminine side and masculating it. Um, the second is, is that it has to do with what? That she's living in fear. But it's funny because she goes, this is a woman refusing to be a victim, refusing to live in fear. And about having a, a victim mentality uh, as far as the feminism movement goes. Uh, and it's basically saying here, she said that um, that having your breast off does not reduce your femininity and that you uh, had better look for a life partner who supports you in choices you make. So, plus the big one that you don't have to live in fear. Iran vetoes every woman uh, running for president. There were 30 among the field of 686 hopefuls. So it says here, Iran's ruling cleric struck all 30 women who had registered for the race from contention so it says here, the regime has made the role and only function of women as objects. So you know, and of course, uh, you know, you you want you want Americanism in your country. You go ahead and get it, and you'll be turned into an object really fast. Uh, you know, whether it's going out in the workforce or or having voting rights, you're being used. So I mean, this is just the latest propaganda to delegitimize what's going on in Iran, as far as their elections go. Uh, but talk about misogyny, right? Uh, there's, I've been, I've seen a lot of that in the news lately. Uh, 
it, I think that's what they're seeing, dude. Like with the abortions, there was no real big coverage on that. I mean, it did make the mainstream media, but nothing really became of it, right? Uh, the Gosnell doctor who's smirking throughout the whole trial. You know, this guy was snipping necks and and choking and, and drowning, uh, uh, you know, late-term abortion babies that that survived. Not condoning uh, what what uh, you know the beating up gays and homosexuals in Russia. They were, they were someone that uh, they got beat up or jumped in France. It was the same thing. These are these are these, this is blowback from the social engineering that's being uh, forced. Right, this unnatural way of life is being forced. Um, on these people who have lived with uh, the traditional ways for a long time. I mean, you even had Ruth uh, Bader Ginsburg, the Supreme Court judge, even saying they're going to have to scale back and not have to force it on people as much because it actually works against them. But they're going to keep pushing it. So, one million moms, new normal, got canceled because of our persistence. So, conservative anti-gay group is claiming responsibility for the cancellation of the NBC series, The New Normal. So. And that's, of course, them engineering society, putting it out there um, in the media. It says here that uh, one million moms continues to fight for the moral values that have served our country so well for so long. It says we do so without apology. The ACLU launches modern family campaign pushing for Cam and Mitch to get married, get hitched. It says that uh, if the American ACLU gets its way, everyone in the country will get to witness perhaps the most high-profile same-sex wedding yet. The union of gay dads Cameron Tucker and Mitchell Pritchett on the popular ABC comedy Modern Family. It just so happens that the, um, the biggest enemy or thorn in the side of people who are uh, cons considered far-right or far-right extremists <laughs> or uh, conservatives is the ACLU, which happens to be run by Zionists. So, and they use this, like I've said before, uh, uh, to, uh, to break apart society. So, New Mexico uh, Catholic School demands transgender male student wear female gown. So Catholic High School in New Mexico says a transgender student must wear a female gown or not participate in graduation ceremonies. So, it says, uh, Damian Garcia was born Brandy Garcia, but now he identifies as a boy and had his name legally changed last year so uh, so he's a man uh, he was a boy uh, but now but now he identifies as a boy so they're basically saying you better call him a boy so it's uh you know if a, it, it's like someone wrote a comic board if, if a human being cuts off his arms and legs and, and and calls himself a snake well he's still a human being right uh, council vetoes flag of St. George after concerns raised about links to crusades. A local council decided against flying the flag of St. George after concerns were raised that it would offend the town's 16 Muslim residents. Never mind uh, them being able to fly the gay, pro-gay, whatever, rainbow flag. So, Nottingham Hospital to fly rainbow flags in support of Idaho Day. So, I never heard of that, but either way, a major hospital is showing support for the International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia for a third year in a row by flying the rainbow flags, which promotes LGBT equality. We have humanists threaten to sue Missouri school officials for uh, over teacher-led prayer meetings. So, American Humanist Association threatened to sue Missouri's uh, Fayette School District and several school officials on Wednesday for their alleged roles in holding morning religious ceremonies with students on school grounds every week for at least a year. Oregon Bakery turns away lesbian couples seeking wedding cake. This is uh, being posted on the 15th, but this is a long-going story uh, because she's turned down like two so far. And what appears to be a part of a disturbing trend, so it's disturbing for the pro-gay movement, but this is actually a very encouraging trend, I think, like I was talking about before. And Oregon Bakery has allegedly turned away a pair of lesbian brides-to-be who sought a wedding cake. AP quotes the owner uh, as saying that she believes she has the liberty to live by my principles. And they go through different examples of other uh, business owners. Priest-led Orthodox anti-gays and violent uh, Georgian clashes with rights activists and police. Thousands of Orthodox anti-gay activists broke through the police cordon and pursued gay rights protesters in Georgia's capital, injuring at least 28 people. So the brawl marred the May 17th International Day Against Homophobia. So it says here that... Uh, the event was allowed by city authorities despite the call by the head of Georgia's Orthodox Church to ban the event. He said that it would be an insult to George, Georgian tradition, saying that homosexuality is an anomaly and an illness. It says people do not want propaganda from minorities. And these people want to demonstrate 
then it becomes a problem. The study says that uh, two-thirds of most gay Europeans still living in fear. Online privacy and security matters to the LGBT community. This is in regards to them uh, being exposed before they come out of the closet. LGBT New Yorkers take back the night after a series of violent attacks. Thanks.